Just slightly adjusting the shape of wind turbines has increased their efficiency by a staggering 200%. When I first saw this, I thought, surely this is too good to be true, but well, it's not. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Blade tweaks have increased vertical axis wind turbine efficiency by 200%. Now, two blade profiles can enhance efficiency by this staggering number and reduce vibrations at the same time by 77%, which obviously enormously optimizes wind turbine performance. For a little while here, guys, I've got to admit, I've been not as interested in the wind industry. I've made a lot of videos about it, but it doesn't change as fast or hasn't been changing quite as fast in terms of its price reductions as solar has. And I see solar being... Uh, a more viable technology for most places because, well, most human beings live on the Sun Belt. 80% of the world, and in fact, it might be 90% of the world that lives on the Sun Belt, which solar is perfect for. Of course, though, it doesn't, uh, doesn't get sunny during the night time. So wind is a great option, but we haven't seen these huge price reductions. I mean, solar prices for panel prices have come down to 50% over the past 12 months. Insane. But overall, solar panel prices have come down 93% over the past 20 years, which is ridiculous. Wind turbines, they've come down a lot, but nowhere near as much. But with increasing efficiency by 200% and reducing vibrations by 77%, you're going to increase the life of the turbine itself and get twice as much power out of it. This is quite an incredible revelation here. Horizontal axis wind turbines, they dominate the wind energy landscape, says Interesting Engineering. Vertical axis wind turbines, while well, they have a rich historical origin, their origins date back to the 8th century in the Middle East for grain milling. Vertical axis wind turbines spinning perpendicular to the wind offer advantages such as higher wind energy density, and they feature quieter operation due to slower rotation and a smaller spatial footprint for equivalent output, both onshore and offshore. So they seem like they actually may be the future of wind. In addition, their lateral blade movement is more wildlife friendly, allowing birds to avoid them more easily. And despite these benefits, vertical axis wind turbines are relatively rare in today's wind energy market, but that may change very, very soon. So the reason they're relatively rare is because of an engineering problem, and that is airflow control, which researchers at the School of Engineering Unsteady Flow Diagnostics Lab at EPFL have said that they've basically solved. Their approach involves a combination of sensor technology and machine learning to optimize the airflow in vertical access wind turbines. The team suggests two pitch profiles for VAWT blades that result in a 200% boost in turbine efficiency and a 77% decrease in vibrations that could potentially damage the turbines themselves. The research has now been published in the Journal of Nature Communications. VAWTs, or vertical axis wind turbines, have a significant disadvantage despite the multiple benefits that we already talked about. They work best in environments with moderate constant airflow. Because of their vertical axis of rotation, the blade's orientation in relation to the wind is always changing. Dynamic stall is a phenomenon where a powerful gust increases the angle between the airflow and the blade, creating a vortex. The blades are unable to sustain the momentary structural loads created by these vortices, which can cause them to fail. The researchers installed sensors on an actuating blade shaft to assess the air forces operating on it and address the lack of resistance to gusts. By varying the angle, speed, and amplitude of the blade's back and forth motion, they produced an array of pitch profiles. After that, they employed a genetic algorithm on a computer, and it completed more than 3,500 trial repetitions using you know, various different shapes. The algorithm akin to an evolutionary process identified the most robust and efficient pitch profiles and merged these characteristics to produce new and enhanced offspring, you might say. Now, this is almost like just using artificial intelligence to make something far superior and to make it actually incredibly efficient. 
They said our study represents to the best of our knowledge the first experimental application of a genetic learning algorithm to determine the best pitch for a VAWT blade, said Sebastian Lefoust, a researcher in the School of Unfold, who was involved in the project. The approach employed by the team allowed them to turn the main flaw in these wind turbines into a strength and uncover two pitch profile series that considerably increase turbine durability and enormously boost efficiency. Meaning these wind turbines are far more efficient by orders of magnitude than the current wind turbines used in most wind farms. The profiles enhance efficiency by 200% and reduce vibrations by 77%. This of course results in far better performance. And the incredible thing was, these wind turbines already were more efficient than the existing turbines in most wind farms. Now, they are just miles more efficient. According to researchers on a lesser scale, dynamic stall, the same mechanism that destroys wind turbines can actually advance the blade or make it spin faster. Here, by pushing the blade pitch forward to generate power, the team truly made use of dynamic stalls. Most wind turbines angle the force generated by the blades upwards, which does not help the rotation. Changing that angle not only forms a smaller vortex, it simultaneously pushes it away at precisely the right time, which results in a second region of power production downwind. To develop a proof of concept, the team has been awarded a grant by the Swiss National Science Foundation. The intention is to place it outside in order to test how it reacts in real time and to possibly begin producing something like this, or maybe to license this technology to some of the biggest wind turbine companies in the world, who would then be able to mass manufacture them. We hope this airflow control method can bring efficient and reliable VAWT technology to maturity so that it becomes commercially available. Interesting Engineering says that vertical access wind turbines are great candidates to enable wind power extraction in urban and offshore applications. These can be used pretty much in any situation. And with these advances, basically the negatives, which are less reliability, uh, is removed. Currently concerns around turbine efficiency and structural integrity limit their industrial deployment. But these results will aid vertical access wind turbines to increase their much needed contribution to the world's energy needs. You know, wind turbines, basically all they've been doing for the last 10 years is getting bigger and bigger and cheaper and cheaper, to be honest, in terms of efficiency per dollar that's invested into them. And that's good, but you have to hit a limit, right? Some of the wind turb biggest wind turbines in the world are, uh, are bigger. The blade, the blades are bigger than an American football pitch. They're enormous and they can't really get much bigger. But with this new innovation, they can become much, much more efficient. Thanks for watching.